Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you how to make this easy and delicious cilantro lime chicken. I am so excited to share this cilantro lime chicken recipe with you guys. It's made with minimal ingredients and it's bursting with flavor. It has tender chicken thighs cooked in a limey broth combined with lots of chopped cilantro. And if you are a cilantro lover, this recipe is for you. So let's get started. I'm going to begin by making our simple rub for our chicken. So here I have one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of onion powder. And these are ingredients that I use very often, so it's nice to always have them in your pantry. Here I have a little over two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And even though they're boneless and skinless, they still kind of have a little bit of that skin on there. And I like to just give it a trim. And then I usually buy my chicken from Costco. They come in those like little pre-packaged, like packages of six. And then they sometimes come in like different sizes. See, this one's kind of big. So I like to just cut it in half. And then see, this one's kind of small, so I'm not gonna cut this one in half. And you could also use bone in with the skin on if you prefer. We'll just probably have to cook it a little bit longer. So our chicken thighs are nice and trimmed and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good seasoning of some salt and pepper. And I'm also gonna season it with our rub. And like I mentioned earlier, this dish has minimal ingredients and it has tons of flavor which makes it perfect for a weeknight meal. And I just love using chicken thighs because um, before I would cook a lot with chicken breast. I don't know, I just would only use chicken breast. I grew up loving breast, but now I have converted to chicken thighs. It's just, it comes up nice and tender and it's really, I mean, you can't really overcook these. And the great thing right now about cooking is it keeps me moving around and it keeps me nice and warm because seriously, I mean, our gas bill has skyrocketed. So yeah, that's always a bonus. <laughs> we do have a gas oven, so I guess we are using gas, but we're also saving money on not eating out and cooking our food, so. I guess that's a plus, right? And another plus, it's healthier. <laughs> we know all the ingredients that are going into this dish. So off the camera, I just minced four garlic cloves, and now we are gonna need one fourth cup of lime juice, which is equivalent to two good sized limes. And this dish has a rich limey flavor, so if you don't like lime, then you may wanna pass on this recipe. A lot of the ingredients for this recipe I did have on hand. Like I always have chicken thighs, garlic, chicken broth, and the seasonings. And pretty much all I had to purchase was cilantro and lime. I do have a lemon tree, but it would be nice to have a lime tree. Mom, <laughs> she does all my gardening for me and she's the one that planted my lemon tree, which I'm so thankful for because I do not have a green thumb whatsoever. Which is funny, because my mom has the green thumb, but she doesn't like to cook, and I love to cook, but yeah, that green thumb did not pass on to me. So this is about a fourth cup. And now I'm gonna chop up one bunch of cilantro. So there's a lot of cilantro going into this dish, but I'm not gonna cook it with the cilantro, we're just gonna add it later to finish it off. My kids who are not fans of cilantro, um, what I do is I just remove some of the chicken before I add the cilantro at the end, and I just eat their share of cilantro because if you don't know by now, I am a huge fan of cilantro. But you know, for me, that is just one thing that I'm better off buying because that plant won't last. <laughs> So everything is pretty much prepped. We're gonna go ahead and sear our chicken on both sides, and then we're gonna finish it off in the oven. So go ahead and meet me over at the stove. 
I have my pan heated over medium high heat. I'm gonna add some olive oil and I'm gonna sear the chicken with the smooth side facing down. I'm gonna let this cook for about four minutes and I'm gonna flip each piece over and cook for another three minutes. You wanna make sure that you get a nice brown sear. After the chicken has been cooking for two minutes, I'm gonna create a small space in the middle here to saute the garlic. I'm also going to add a little bit more oil to the pan. And I'm gonna cook the garlic for about a minute alongside our chicken. Now I'm going to add in one and a half cups of chicken broth along with the one fourth cup of lime juice that we squeezed out earlier. I'm gonna gently stir the sauce and I'm gonna bring everything to a boil. I'm also going to give everything a really good seasoning of some salt and pepper. And the salt will really bring out the flavor of this delicious sauce. I'm going to lower the heat to medium and I'm gonna let this cook down for about two minutes. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees and I'm gonna bake this for about 20 minutes. And if you're using bone-in skin-on chicken thighs, you wanna bake it for 30 minutes. And after 20 minutes, our chicken has this nice, beautiful crust swimming in this delicious sauce. Our chicken is looking amazing. So now it's time to sprinkle over the cilantro that we chopped up earlier. And you can add as much or as little cilantro that you like. You are the captain of this ship, so do it according to your taste. I, over here, I'm gonna add the whole bunch. I'm also going to garnish it with some lime slices. And there you have it, cilantro lime chicken. All right, moment of truth, time for the taste test. And I'm so excited to try this, you guys. And this makes a good amount of sauce, so you would wanna serve this over some rice to kinda of sop up the sauce. All right. Here we go, cheers, you guys. Mmm. Just wow, you guys, that was incredibly tasty. The chicken is nice and tender, and that limey broth, oh my gosh, so good. And the cilantro just tops everything off. You gotta give this recipe a try. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye. Say goodbye. Bye.